Hello, welcome to Systec Technologies GasMart version 6 steady state hydraulic simulation key features video. We're going to be talking about the features of the new version of GasMart, which includes several enhancements and in particular a graphic pipeline model building feature. So let's go ahead and um, start the gas mod program the opening screen shows the five easy steps to get started we're gonna bypass that and we have a startup options where you have a choice of three choices open the last pipeline model that you're working on or create a new pipeline model in a spreadsheet or the quick start option we're going to bypass that one too and go straight into the graphic model building approach so click this button here on the left graphic model and that is supposed to launch what's called pipe graph this is a a drawing program which um, enables you to take objects from the toolbox on the left here we have a pipe segment for the main line we have a compressor station object valve and so on so let's go ahead and close this getting started icon I mean getting started screen look at these objects this is a pipe main line object this is a pipe branch incoming. The red one is a pipe branch outgoing. And the green is a pipe loop object. And we have a compressor station, a valve, pressure regulator, a pressure object, and a flow rate object. So to start off, we'll say our pipeline is connected to another pipeline that provides the initial pressure so that's your pressure object let's say we have a segment of pipe and then we have a valve and another segment of pipe a compressor station another segment of pipe another segment and we'll have a pressure regulator at the end of the pipeline because we need a flow rate coming into the pipeline we we'll choose this flow rate object and drop it on the first object which happens to be the pressure now let's start entering data click on the pressure object and we are just we get this display where you can specify the pressure at the beginning let's say it's 800 psi and the flow rate is 100 million cubic feet a day let's say the temperature is 60 degrees coming into the line and we have a choice of products here let's go ahead and choose San Juan gas and we'll save that we go to the compressor station and let's give it a name call it Compton there's a 5000 horsepower compressor there efficiency is 80 percent mechanical efficiency is 98 percent and a minimum suction pressure of 800 maximum discharge pressure of 1200 psi and some suction piping loss discharge piping loss maximum pipe temperature of 140 and a fuel factor for calculating the fuel consumption at this compressor station. Go ahead and save that. Let's go to the regulator and we'll specify uh, let's say the name of the regulator is PREG-200 16 inch diameter regulator. Let's say the downstream pressure we need is 500 and we'll go ahead and save that 
we need to specify the validator too. So come over here and click on it. And we'll just give it a, a name. Let's say it's GV100. It's a gate valve. You have other options here. We'll stick with the gate valve. 16 inch diameter, a K value for pressure drop. We're going to put in a 10 pound pressure drop there. That will override this K value. Go ahead and save that. Now we specified the pressure and the flow rate at the beginning, the compressor data, the valve data, and the pressure regulator data. You can see the information for each object is shown in this tooltip. Let's go ahead and define the pipe segments. We have this pipe segment here, it's 2 miles long, we'll make it 10 miles, 16 inch diameter, wall thickness, pipe roughness, MAOP, upstream elevation of that pipe segment. Let's say the downstream elevation is 250. Go ahead and save that. Next we'll go ahead and input the data for the second segment, pipe 2. Let's say that is 24 miles. Diameter is the same and you see the elevation up is now equal to the elevation down for that previous pipe segment. Let's say the downstream elevation for this one is say 300. Go ahead and save that. And we'll finish off with these two pipe segments. 12 miles. And let's say we have 450 feet elevation at this point. And finally, the last pipe segment we'll say is 15 miles. And 200 feet is the elevation the last location. Go ahead and save that. So basically we have built the pipeline model, a very simple pipeline, with a connecting pressure at the beginning of 800 psi and a flow rate of 100 million standard cubic feet a day, 60 degrees, and the product is San Juan gas. We define the compressor station, the valve, the pressure regulated information, and all three pipe segments have been defined. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let's say save as and we'll call this test pipe 100. Go ahead and save that. Now the project has been saved as a project file. Simultaneously the TOT file for use with gas mod is also being saved. So let's take a look at the TOT file and there it is. It's taken all the information we put in along with some default data and created the TOT file. Go ahead and close this and we're going to exit the graphic model builder known as pipe graph. That'll put you back into the gas mod program. We've already saved it so we say no. We're back into gas mod now I'm going to go ahead and open that file, test pipe 100, and we just created. And there it is. So here we have the TOT file displayed in the spreadsheet, which was generated using the graphic model builder. There's a default value of, of delivery pressure at the end of the pipeline, a minimum pressure, and the hold delivery pressure has not been checked. So with this information here, we can double check the data in the other screens. Let's say we go to flow rate screens. Distance of zero, the flow rate is 100 million. And the specific gravity and the viscosity of the gas, these are default values. Inlet temperature is what we specified. And the product is San Juan gas. If we push F3, that opens up the database. You can change that to Gulf Coast, for example. And then when you save it, the specific gravity and viscosity values are going to change from the default values. So let's go ahead and look at it again. So you see the gravity and the viscosity have changed to match the Gulf Coast product. Go ahead and go to the pump, I mean compressor station menu or the compressor station screen. We see we have a compressor station Compton at 34 miles, which happens to be right there, looking at the location. And um, we have
have a suction pressure, discharge pressure, maximum temperature, the suction and discharge losses, and the fuel factor. Most of this information you've seen earlier. Go ahead and save that. We're going to calculate the fuel consumption. So that box is checked. And the first compressor station must be located at the origin of the pipeline. Otherwise, you must specify the pipeline inlet pressure. Uh, we know that. So we'll click OK. That kind of gives you this screen to confirm that you have an inlet pressure of 800, which is what we had in our graphic model building screen. So we'll say OK. And we're back to the screen. We go over to the option global parameters and double check the global parameters. These are default values for the K ratio of the gas, the maximum gas velocity in the pipe, pipeline efficiency, the base temperature and pressure. Uh, we got various options here. Colbrook White is our pressure drop formula. We got standing cats and some other options, but we'll stick to this. We're going to ignore the Joule Thompson and we can go ahead and increment the case number for the results. Click OK. And go ahead and run the calculation. And um, we can provide some additional information on the project title. And all these options are OK. We'll go ahead and click OK and start the simulation. So we have the simulation results here. And we look at the pipeline profile data, locations and flow rates, pressure regulator data, and uh, compressor station data. You can see that um, the compressor horsepower is 3,252, and your fuel consumption is 0 0.65. Go to the end of the report. You see the pipeline temperature and pressure profile, distance, diameter, flow rate, velocity, the pressure starting at 800, which is the connection uh, to, the, to a, another pipeline at the beginning of this pipeline. We have a compressor station at Compton, the discharge pressure, the suction pressure by the time it gets there, it has lost from 800 down to 682 in a distance of 34 miles. And finally at the pressure regulator, it drops it down to the 500 pounds that we required. The line pack is shown here. That's the end of the simulation for this simple pipeline. If you want the hydraulic pressure gradient plotted, and this shows the connecting pressure at 800 and coming over here and then you have your pressure gradient here and the pressure regulator at the end. Click OK and that completes the simulation of a simple pipeline starting with the graphical model building. In the next video we'll be talking about looking at different options in the graphic building screen.